would be spontaneous today. Do something out of the ordinary, something that I normally don't do. We're having pizza today. Oh, it feels so good to be outside. Guys, I've been stuck in that office room since eight o'clock this morning. It's like three o'clock now. We need to get some stuff done. Let's see, where do we start? There's no better place to start a farming video is on a farm. So this field is what we call the North Farm. We call it that because it's our for this North Farm. Original, I know. Uh, hey, there's Sable. He's getting our tractor all dirty. This is what you call a real disc. We got the disc blades up front. Then we got the chopper blades in the back. We're missing a tire because we had a flat this morning. Then you got the drag back here. And then we got the rolling basket here that chews everything up to flatten it out. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Cool, I thought you said you were no-till. And that is correct, we are no-till, but the North Farm here is a farm that we just started farming last year. What's unique about the North Farm is it's a mile long, but it's only a quarter mile wide. Now the owner of the farm who retired last year, he used to plant it the short way. We wanna be able to come in and do mile long rows because then we don't have to turn around as much. So we have Sable out here in the real disc right now and all she is doing is just working up the top two inches of this soil just simply to smooth out all the wheel ruts. Really big, like, ground tornado over there. I was like, please don't come over here. <laughs> Bye, Sable. Have fun. Hey, what you guys doing? Hi. I want you to try this on. You know what we're going to say about you guys now, right? I never thought you'd let us leave. If you guys are what I would call an original fan and were watching last year, you would remember we had an excavator out here. Ooh. And we took down a ton of trees in this field. And since they were all laying down on the ground, we didn't want them out in the field. So we made piles right along the edge of the creek here. So we need to get these piles gone because if we get flooding and this creek comes up, it's gonna lift all these piles away. And it's gonna bring the trees downstream and we're gonna plug up bridges. And I don't want to be responsible for that. So we got the torch, the leaf blower and some dinosaur bones. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. You know what they say, it takes a jerk to start it. So whoever stacked these with the excavator could have done a little better job. We're gonna go ahead and power wash the 7140 tractor here. It's done moving corn now, so we can get all that corn dust off, get her cleaned up, get it looking pretty. And this tractor needs a wax job really bad. So let's get her washed up, guys. I don't know if you can see it out there, but it looks like Cole might be getting a fire started over there. Trying to burn up some of them old trees, but I'm gonna move some stuff around here in the machine shed. Do, 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 do. Shop. So that way we can run this tractor in tonight. We just let pile number four and kind of I think what we're gonna have to do is light them, let them burn, come back with the skid loader or telehandler later, then push them into a tighter pile. And just kind of keep doing that until there's nothing left. A few of these piles over here were stacked up with the excavator and those will burn pretty good because you can get them packed a lot tighter. But a lot of these were set up with a skid loader and you can only get them stacked like too high so they just aren't as dense so they don't burn as high. But we'll burn what we can, get it as small as possible and just kind of keep piling it up and burning it as we go. We got a bunch of the shields off the tractor and stuff. But now we can start changing oils, air filters. We won't use this tractor for a little while yet. We're planning on putting a Hineker 12 row color beater on there when the corn gets up so tall. Haven't done that in years, to be honest. For you that don't know what we're talking about right now, don't hiccup or pass gas because we will tell you as we go and show you what we're up to. All right, we're gonna pull the oil on this tractor real quick, get it started running. Sable just called, she just pulled into coal, so I need to go get her. 
But let's go ahead and get the oil dropping here and then we'll run over and save her. Sable's taking it pretty easy. She's got her feet up on the chair, up on the steering wheel. <laughs> we might have to move a few things around here, but we're gonna see if we can get that real disc clear to the back. Sable is doing fantastic on this. It looks great. Today's been one of them days. I've been just kind of jumping here and jumping there. I've been like a jumping, jumping jack. Whoa, it's dark. But it works out good when we work as a team around here. We know sometimes one person is kind of the jump around person. Today, that was me. Can't get things done if we're not moving around. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Now I'm ready to get home. Seems like I've been driving for a whole 45 seconds. I tap my fingers around. I look around as I drive, but I keep my eyes on the road at all times. Cause you never know what's gonna jump out in front of you. Then you look off that way, then you look that way. But you never look in the mirror unless you wanna look at yourself. Hey man foot to the floor but try not to drive over 35 whoa what's that down in the ditch it's a bird no it's spider monkey the little turds <sighs> i'm an ugly looking man pulling up here oh it's cole Dad. hey cole oh they're slowly burning The poor little tractor looks so sad right now with everything tore off of it. But we gotta go through this stage to get it back up to snuff. Looks like Cole's out in the field yet. I can see a pickup running around out there. He's got a whole bunch of little fires going on out there. If any of you are in an airplane right now, you're probably looking down at our fires. Oh, do you guys like that little fire ASMR right there? By the way, guys, we have Cornstar Farms merch available through the link in the description. And public service announcement, 40% of you guys watching are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.